I'd just like to interject for a moment. What you're referring to as Linux is in fact new Linux, or as I've recently taken to calling it, new plus Linux. Linux is not an operating system on itself, but rather another free component of a fully functioning new system made useful by the new correlates, shell utilities, and vital system components comprising a full OS as defined by POS6. Many computer users run a modified version of the new system every day without realizing it. Through a peculiar turn of events, the version of new, which is widely used today, is often called Linux, and many of its users are not aware that it is basically the new system developed by the new project. There really is a Linux, and these people are using it, but it is just a part of the system they use. Linux is the kernel, the program, and the system that allocates the machine's resources to the other programs that you run. The kernel is an essential part of an operating system, but useless by itself, it can only function in the context of a complete operating system. Linux is normally used in combination with the new operating system. The whole system is basically new with Linux added, or do Linux. All the so-called Linux distributions are really distributions of new Linux. 